Hey guys, Tech Girl 88 here, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing yet another way to improve Ubuntu on your Acer C7 Chromebook. Uh, actually, this whole week I'm going to be using and be putting up videos about how you can improve your C7 in various ways, whether it's speeding it up or adding additional functionality to it with different Ubuntu tips and tricks. Um, and so in this first one, I'm going to tackle a question I actually get asked a lot, and that is, how can you run executable files on the Ubuntu um, Acer C7 Chromebook? And the reason why most people want to run executable files is because that allows them to play um, Windows games or install Windows applications on their Chromebook, which obviously you can't run Windows 7 or Windows 8 on the Chromebook, but you can run Ubuntu. So with Ubuntu, you can actually use some Windows applications. Um, and so the answer to how do you put um, or how do you run executable files on Ubuntu on the C7 is actually um, through the use of an application called Wine. Now. If you've used Ubuntu in the past, you might be already familiar with Wine. Um, if you haven't, basically it's an emulator that allows you to run executable files on Ubuntu. Um, it's not always very fast, but it's usually passable and will at least let you do what you need to do with the executable files. Uh, so I'll show you real quick how to install it. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to open up a terminal. Alright, and so we've got our terminal open, so what we're going to type in is sudo apt get install wine. And it's going to ask us for our sudo password, which, unless we changed it, is going to be user. going to ask us if we're sure we want to install it. We just type in Y and then enter. And so it looks like it's going to take about 17 minutes. Uh, what I'll do is I'll stop the video right here and then I'll resume it as soon as it finishes. Alright, so while installing Wine you might get prompted uh, for these core prompts um, installer to install it. So for this you're just going to press tab and then OK and then left arrow and then enter again. Alright, so it's finished downloading and installing uh, Wine on the C7. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the application that we want and we actually want to open in Wine. Um, so we're going to go to, of course we're already in our home directory user, and then downloads. And you can see I have Fox right here. And what we're going to do is open with the Wine. Windows program loader. And yep, see. So it take it took a little bit of time to open a few seconds. Um, but you could see it right here. So this is actually the setup application. So we'll just run through this just to kind of show you how wine um emulates uh, files to install Windows files on the Ubuntu um, operating system and so we'll just do a standard application 
installation. And so you can see it's proceeding through the installation. Okay, and now it's asking us if we'd like to launch uh, what we just installed. So, of course, we're just going to leave that checked and we're going to click finish. And just wait a second. And you can, as you can see, we've got the Foxit Reader working. And so, of course, once you've installed a program a Windows program on Wine, you might be asking, well, how do I access it next time I want to use it? Um, so it's actually pretty simple. I'm just going to go to the Applications menu up here, go down to Wine, hover over that, and go to Programs, and as you can see, there's Fox at PDF Reader. We're just going to click on that and wait a second for it to load and then it reopens so it's the same thing with any other program that you install through Wine. Uh, for a complete listing of programs that are compatible with Wine, check out Wine's website. I will post a link below in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or have suggestions for a new video comment below if you like this video uh, go ahead and click like um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video